This is Reproductive Hormones in the Estrus Cycle by Keely Jenkins. The estrus cycle is a predictable pattern of reproductive events that occur within animals. It is initiated by the expression of an animal in heat or stress and concludes at the following stress. The estrus cycle is divided into two phases. The first phase is the follicular phase and includes prostress and estrus. It makes up 20% of the cycle. The second phase is called the luteal phase and includes metastress and diastress. This phase makes up 80% of the cycle. In a cow, this cycle normally takes 21 days and generally continues all year round unless she becomes pregnant or is lactating. Prostress occurs from day 1718. If a cow isn't pregnant, prostaglandin is released. This causes the corpus luteum to regress, which means progesterone declines. Since progesterone is no longer inhibiting NARH from the hypothalamus, NARH begins to rise. This in turn causes the stimulation of LH and FSH from the interior pituitary gland. FSH causes maturation of follicles. The dominant follicle establishes itself and is the main follicle that grows. The growing follicle produces estrogenerol. It is the estrogen that causes the sangs of estrus in the cow. Estrogen peaks before estrus or heat, and it is the estrogen that causes the final LH release. Inhibin is also produced by the growing follicle and prevents other smaller follicles from growing. This inhibition of smaller follicles assures the selection of a single follicle to ovulate. During a stress, the estrogen and FSH are declining. The LH peaks during standing a stress. This is the time the co is in a standing height and will stand with all four legs firmly braced to be mounted by another cow. A stress lasts 18 24 hours, but may be shorter. The ovary starts producing progesterone, which inhibits LH and FSH release. Ovulation occurs 12 to 18 hours after the end of heat, but still occurs during a stress. Metastress is three to five days long and is the time the corpus luteum develops. During metastress, the corpus luteum is not yet mature, but still growing, so progesterone is rising. A surge of FSH occurs at this time that chooses the first follicular wave for the next cycle. The estrus lasts from day five to 17 of the cycle. It is the time that the fully developed corpus luteum is steadily releasing progesterone. At the end of diastress, if no pregnancy signals are received by the corpus luteum, then the uterus releases the hormone prostaglandin, which causes the regression of the corpus luteum and the decline in progesterone starting the cycle again.